packing for Disney World can feel a little overwhelming. So I'm gonna walk you through my entire Disney packing process and show you how to pack in a way that's gonna make your Disney trip feel a little more seamless. Instead of just piling everything into a suitcase that you checked off a checklist and hoping for the best, I'm gonna share some things I've learned along the way that'll help you feel efficient in the packing process and prepared when you actually get to Walt Disney World and you'll be thanking your past self that you did these things. So let's dive in. Okay, our starting point is weather. This is really the perfect place to start because you obviously don't know how to even plan out outfits until you're aware what the temperature is gonna be. And especially in the springtime, weather can be all over the place. What I've done is I have actually printed out the weather for the month of April. I had this printed out about a week ago and since then the weather has totally changed. So I'm kind of having to rethink all of my outfits, which is very common in the packing process for Disney World. You think you've got it all figured out and then a curveball is thrown at you and you've got to replan some of the outfits. So instead of mid to high 80s, it's going to be low to mid 70s as a high. And then instead of mid to high 60s as the low, it is low to mid 50s as the low, which is just so freezing cold. <laughs> in Orlando and I am shocked that this time of year it's gonna be on the chillier side. So I've gone ahead and restructured some of the outfits a little bit and I'll share that here in just a minute. But let me show you everything I've laid out for this five night, six day trip for me and my four year old daughter and then we'll dive into more specific categories. This is what we're working with and then I also have my carry on backpacks down here as well that we will pack up later on in this video, but let's go ahead and start with outfits. What I do is I go day by day and I write out on sticky notes exactly what I'm gonna be wearing on day one, day two, day three, and so on. Instead of just doing a pile of t-shirts, a pile of shorts, and then mix and matching and kind of putting your outfit together when you get there, this will make getting ready in the morning so much easier and so much quicker when you already know exactly what you are going to wear. So I plan it out day by day instead of just, oh, I need five tops and I'll do six pairs of shorts. And you know, this just makes it so much easier and you can just pull out outfit one, outfit two, and you know exactly what you're gonna wear, which is great. I'm going very basic on this trip. Lots of athletic dresses, athletic skirts, and athletic tank tops. I'm doing one pair of denim shorts, and I have a couple of tank tops and an extra t-shirt, and then this t-shirt dress for our travel day back home but I'm keeping it really simple. I normally like to order some cute new stuff on Amazon, but this is your reminder that you do not have to spend a ton of money on outfits leading up to your Disney trip. You can absolutely wear what is already in your closet. Do not feel like you have to go out and spend $100 on or $200 on new Disney outfits. I know they're fun, and if that's your thing, go for it, but this is me giving you permission <laughs> that you don't have to do that if that is not in your budget. The other thing that I'm adding is a pair of leggings and this pullover right here. That way, in case it is very chilly one morning or during fireworks, I always have a little pullover that I can keep with us. And I always go the little ball cap route instead of ears. The other thing is a pile of like PJ clothes for back in the room. I have underwear, socks, bras. And then moving over to my daughter's outfits. I did the same thing over here. We have day one, day two, day three, all the way to day six. And I also have an extra little travel outfit home for her. And then this is a pile of other little extra play clothes, things that we can wear back in the room. This is always very handy to have in case I don't want her to be wearing her princess dress during nap time or she has a spill or whatever. It's always nice to have extra clothes. I have lots of underwear, socks, and then her pajamas. Next, I wanna talk about our swim bag. This is one of the things that I am always so thankful for on our arrival day specifically that I do in advance while I'm packing. And then when I get to Disney, I just, I thank my past self. What I do for this bag. Instead of having our swimsuits packed separately, 
sunscreen with our toiletry products, shoes in another compartment, uh, clothes for our swim cover-ups packed with our regular clothes, and everything is scattered in different pouches or packing cubes or zipper compartments. And make sure to put all of our swim items in one bag. And I love having a clear bag. It is so nice. Obviously it's waterproof, so we can bring it down to the pool with us. But what I do is when we check in, we typically like to go to the pool if our room is not ready yet. So instead of opening up our suitcase and having to dig through five different packing cubes to find what I need, all I do is pull out this one pouch and I have everything I need for the pool in one location and I can pull it out super quick, zip the suitcase right back up and hand it to Bell Services and we can hit the pool. It makes that whole process so seamless. And you're not the family with your suitcases wide open with like stuff thrown out of your suitcases in the middle of the lobby or like by the bathrooms because <laughs> we've we've been that before. And I learned never again. I'm never doing that again with our suitcase and like stuff sprawled out all over the floor in the bathroom. Just ew, gross for one. And two, it's just no one wants to be walking past that. You know what I mean? So everything is in one location. So I have two swimsuits packed for my daughter. In addition to our swimsuits, I also have our swim cover-ups. So I will throw this, it's just like a little black romper that I can just toss on over my swimsuit. It doesn't take up a ton of space. I'm not packing like denim shorts and a big oversized t-shirt or something. You know, I'm, I'm keeping it very like lightweight so it can fit in this pouch right here. I also will keep flip-flops in here. And then I also keep travel sized sunscreens in here. So I'll have more sunscreen packed in my toiletry bag for like regular park days if you need more sunscreen, you know, than just travel size. But at least I have something packed in this pouch enough to get us through one pool afternoon um, with me and my daughter. So I have her little face stick of sunscreen, some kids roll on sunscreen, and then just some spray sunscreen for me. So all of that is in our swim bag. So I have our shoes, sunscreen, uh, cover-ups, and our swimsuits. And then when we change, I can put our dry clothes in this bag. And then if we need to change out yet again and do another change back into dry clothes, I can put wet swimsuits in here and it's not getting the rest of my backpack or the bottom of your stroller soaking wet. So that's why I like having a clear bag in case it does get wet at the pool or you need to put wet swimsuits in it. It is so nice. So this is one hack for making your arrival day that much more seamless. Have a swim bag ready to go. And if you didn't believe me, here is everything all packed up. I have both of our flip flops for me and my daughter, swimsuits for each of us, swim cover up, and then sunscreen is on the bottom side of this. And if I want to pack more swimsuits, I can definitely throw those into another packing cube or another location in my suitcase, but just to have a one swimsuit for everyone in your family in one bag, flip flop, sunscreen, you know, travel size products. I really, really like this bag. So this is from Amy's Small World. I will have this bag linked down below as well as my discount code for her bag. She has all different shapes and sizes and really cute prints. So definitely go check those out. Another thing I recommend and that I love doing is having a designated pouch for anything that feels random. So things that you're going to use at the pool or at the park, but it doesn't quite have a home. Let me show you what's in this pouch. This has been so helpful because I can pull this pouch out and day one, when I'm settling into the room, I know where all of those random things are and I'm not having to dig through, again, a bunch of different locations throughout my suitcase to find where did I put the glow sticks? Where did I put that one little cup holder attachment for my stroller? Like, everything is in one spot so the first couple of things in here are some pool toys so if we do go to the pool it's nice to bring at least something especially when you're staying at a resort that doesn't have a splash pad and they just have a kiddie pool it's nice to bring some kind of activity so i have goggles for my daughter i bought in this is all from either the dollar section at target or dollar tree so i did not spend a fortune on any of these things. This first activity I found in the dollar section at Target, it was like three bucks, is this little fishing game. So it comes with these little like octopus, starfish, these little plastic fish at the bottom. And it has a little fishing pole and she can fish for 
all the little different pieces. So I thought that would be something really fun to do in the kiddie pool. I also found a little bluey and bingo you know we don't really do squirt toys here at home just because of the mold and you know all the things but at the pool it's something really cheap that we can play with it for a few days and then toss it when we're done so those are great i also have a couple packs of glow sticks these are really fun to pull out at night when all of the carts come out with those $30 light up toys and your toddler is like, mommy, mommy, please, can I have that? And you don't wanna spend 30 bucks on the light up toy, bring some glow sticks. So I always keep a pack or two of glow sticks on me at the park. I have these sweet, what are they called? Smart sweets, <laughs> lollipops, one gram of sugar. These are great to pull out if you're waiting in line, if you're waiting for food at a restaurant, a little bit of bribery, you know. <laughs> always helpful. And then I also have a few other little travel activities where I can restock our carry-on bag coming home. So that is important. Don't blow through all of your activities in your carry-on bag on day one. Save a few for the return trip home. I have a pouch of liquid IV and goodies headache powder. This is my magic cocktail combo when I have a migraine and you got to keep going to Disney. Like there's no time for migraines at Disney World. So goodies headache powder, liquid IV, I just chug it. It's not the best tasting thing in the world, but it gets the job done. And within 20, 30 minutes, my migraine is gone. Okay, I think that's it for activities. The other thing that is in this pouch, I'm doing something a little different on this trip that I have never done before. I'm renting a stroller. Oh, I cannot believe it. I am a diehard, like, bring your own travel compact stroller kind of girl. I love my compact travel stroller and it has been to Disney countless times. I love this stroller, but Ellie has officially reached the height and weight limit for the stroller. And I just, I can't make it work. Last trip, she had already hit the max height and weight. And I was like, I'm just gonna go for it anyway. And it was a little challenging to maneuver, but I was like, this trip, I've got to go for a rental. So I am renting a stroller, which means I'm packing stroller accessories. Instead of having this already set up, I'm making sure to bring it with me. That way, when we get our rental delivered to our Disney resort, I have all these things ready to go and I can set up our stroller on our arrival day. So the first thing is this super cute Minnie Mouse sling. It comes in a Mickey print too, if you have a little boy, but it attaches to the side of your stroller and works as additional storage. So I think this is gonna be really, really great, taking that for the first time. Also bringing some little stroller hooks where I can clip on my backpack to the stroller, my park bag. I am bringing some extra hooks to clip on to the side of the stroller as well. My four-year-old loves having something that she can hold on to, which is really, really helpful because she's definitely at the age where, you know, riding is becoming less and less. She's wanting out of the stroller more often, but we definitely still need a stroller, but she wants to walk a little bit more than she did, say, a year ago. So these little hooks are awesome because, again, it gives her something to hold on to, and I can tell her you're either riding or you're hanging on to this hook. It's also great if we do a little bit of shopping and I need something extra to hook a shopping bag to or my water bottle or whatever. So these are awesome. The last thing I'm bringing for my stroller is this cup holder, which is really, really great, especially when you are traveling as a solo mom like I am. You don't have a million hands. It's really nice to be able to hold my camera, push the stroller, and I still have somewhere to put my coffee or whatever while we're spending a day at the park. So this is very, very helpful. I used this on my compact stroller on our last trip, and it changed the game for us. So that is everything that is going in this pouch. You can see it's all items that don't really have a home until we get to Disney. So traveling with it, it's like, what do you do with all these things? So having a designated pouch where anything random goes is very, very helpful. And you know exactly where those things are when you get to your resort on arrival day. Speaking of strollers, two things that are going to be crucial to throw in the bottom of your stroller before day one is rain jackets and a stroller rain cover. And it actually just started pouring outside right now. So that's really ironic timing, but what I've done with my rain jackets for myself and my daughter is I've gone ahead and put it in a packing cube. That way, when we arrive at our resort, all I have to do is pull out the packing cube and 
toss it underneath the bottom of our stroller. Staying really compact and they're not just loose rain jackets hanging out in the bottom of our stroller. Everything stays organized and I can easily see what this is. And this is great for going through security at Disney as well as the stroller rain cover. I just kind of wad this up as best I can. There's really, I mean, I'm sure I could try to fold it up a little bit better. <laughs> But these are the two things that will go in the bottom of my stroller. And those just kind of hang out there and live in the bottom of the stroller the whole time we are at Disney. But on our way to Disney, I make sure that everything is very compact and organized. And that way it's really easy to pull out before day one. Quick pause to say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you are new, my name is Becca. I share all kinds of Disney planning content, tips for taking little kids to Disney World, vlogs from all of our Disney adventures, and lots of packing content. I have a lot of videos in my packing playlist right here. So head over and check it out. If you want all of the packing inspo, I would love for you to check out more of my videos and hit that subscribe button and we can be internet Disney besties. Let's go ahead and jump back into all of the packing. Next is my summer heat essential bag. Now I'm rethinking if I even need to bring this at this point because it's only going to be a high of, I think the hottest day we're going to be there is like 77, 76. So I don't think I'm actually going to bring this when it was mid to high 80s, I was totally gonna pack this, but now I'm rethinking, you know what, I'll just save the space and I don't think I'm gonna need it on this trip, but I will show you what I do for this little summer essential bag. So I have our stroller fan, a misting fan, this little handheld fan, and my daughter actually loves just playing with this. So while it's not the most incredible fan that you can use at Disney, it is fun if you have kids, it's something, you know, really lightweight that you can hand them and you know super cheap if it falls on the ground you know it's not a big deal so those are the fans that i'm bringing and i also have a couple of cooling towels and then i put everything into this little pouch and i can toss this bag into my park bag when we are on our way out the door in the mornings and when we get back to the room i simply pull everything back out plug it in, make sure everything is charged back up and toss it right back into the bag. So all of these things have a designated location as compared to just a random fan floating around in your backpack, you know what I mean? So keeping everything really organized and you could honestly use a clear plastic bag or anything else that would allow you to see what's in here would probably be even more helpful. So definitely have some kind of summer essential bag with those cooling towels and different kinds of fans. Okay, let's talk about groceries at Disney. These are my grocery essentials. First right here is, this is actually a bottle cooler, but I use this as my lunchbox for my daughter because it has a buckle right up here so i can attach this to our stroller which is very handy and i will pack her a lunch so i will either do a peanut butter sandwich i'll do like deli meat with cheese and crackers i'll do fruit um, all kinds of stuff applesauce yogurt those are kind of our favorite staple things at disney so what i'll do is i bring a bunch of ziploc bags from home I also have a little Tupperware container, just something like the smallest thing we have. And I will put fruit in this. That way it doesn't get smushed in the Ziploc bag because we've done that before too and that wasn't good. <laughs> and if I have access to a freezer, I will actually bring freezer packs from home, like ice packs from home. But if we don't have access to a fridge freezer and we only have the beverage cooler, this is where I have to get a little creative. So what I have figured out that works well for us is I will take two Ziploc bags and I will go to the ice machine first thing in the morning. And if I double them up, like if I double bag the ice, it tends to work pretty well. There's no leakage. So the bottom of my cooler is not soaking wet and it's not like a puddle down at the bottom of it. And then it also actually keeps the ice cold. It doesn't melt as quickly as one bag does. So that is my tip. If you do need ice, double bag it. I will keep both of those things in here. Again, everything lunch related is already in my little cooler. So that way I can just fold this right up and 
we're good to go. The other item I pack is a reusable grocery bag. And the reason I bring a reusable grocery bag is because if we are doing a split stay and we are moving resorts, I am needing to somehow get my groceries from point A to point B. And obviously the groceries are something that I did not travel with. So I need something extra to put all of those things in. So I will just on that split stay transfer day, put everything into this reusable bag, bottles of water, anything grocery related goes into this bag. And I can hand that off to Bell Services and they will keep that refrigerated for me. You can also do this on your checkout day if you're driving home and you wanna bring things home in a cooler, you can hand a bag or anything to Bell Services and they have refrigerators in their little storage area <laughs> that they will keep things cold for you, which is awesome. So that is my tip is to bring a reusable grocery bag. Next is toiletry bags, makeup, my daughter's little hair supply, her bow bag right here. But this is my toiletry bag. This is actually from Amazon. I was looking for something similar to the Cowpack toiletry bag, but I just could not justify the, I wanna say it was like $75 for a toiletry bag. So I found almost the exact same one on Amazon and I love it. Now, you can't use full size products without really struggling <laughs> to fit them in there, but if you use travel size products, this is perfect. It's that perfect in between toiletry bag from something that's way too large and then something compared to this, which is great for my four year old, but I needed something kind of middle of the road and this is great. So you have these little pockets right here and then and then access to both sides, which is really, really helpful. And then here is my little makeup pouch, my daughter's toiletry bag, and this is the perfect size for her because obviously she doesn't need a ton. I'm just bringing some baby shampoo, toothpaste, her leave-in conditioner spray. I have a thermometer, a couple of little bath toys for her, and then an empty bottle that I fill with water when I'm doing her hair. And then in here, I'll put all of her bows and hair elastics and all of that just comes out of the suitcase. I go ahead and put everything in the bathroom on arrival day and it's super easy. Moving on, next are the carry-on bags because I do plan on checking a suitcase this trip, but this is gonna be my carry-on backpack. So what I have in here, I do need to put my laptop in here, so that'll go in the very back. In this pouch is a change of clothes for my daughter, extra underwear just in case. I mean, we are well past the accident stage in preschool life, but you never know. You just, you never know. And I will always be prepared no matter what. I have my daughter's portable potty seat. This has been coming with us to Disney for many, many trips now. And it makes traveling so much easier. And when we get to our Disney resort, I can set this up in the bathroom in our room and it just helps her feel a little more at home, a little more comfortable. I also have Clorox wipes in there in case we do use the potty seat and I need to wipe it down before putting it back into the backpack. I have my daughter's mealtime bag and this basically has anything that we're gonna use if we sit down at a table restaurant, quick service, table service, doesn't matter. I have coloring stick-on placemats. I have a couple of Play-Dohs, some little notepads here, some crayons, and then in the back, I have a couple of these little coloring packs. So I got this at Walmart. It came in a pack of, oh, I think eight of these, and you get two mini crayons, a sticker, and this little coloring book. So these are great to pull out. I kind of have these stocked everywhere. I have them in my backpack, in our mealtime bag, in our activity bag that stays in our room. Just, they're everywhere. And then this is the activity bag, which is great for travel or back in the room. I kind of use it everywhere, but it is stuffed to the brim right now. <laughs> It has all kinds of stuff in here. I love these little magnetic people. Ellie loves to stick these together and build things. It's super entertaining. I have some character figurines. I have more of these little coloring packs. I have this mini Etch-A-Sketch. This activity that I found in the dollar section at Target. So she loves playing with that. 
So again, and more like stickers and just all kinds of stuff in here. So usually when we get to the room or we're on the airplane or wherever and I'm needing just a few minutes <laughs> to freshen up or film a room tour video or get things settled in the room and unpack, I can hand my daughter this bag and say, okay, you can pick out one thing out of this bag to play with or you can pick out two things. And I call this my treasure box bag because it really is like a treasure box. And I think it's very fitting that, you know, it's Ariel, so. The treasure box is the aerial bag and then i also have my daughter's stainless steel water bottle right there that we will fill up at the airport this bag it's the little mini version of my petunia pickle bottom ace backpack this is the mini size which i actually carried this for a long time here at home as my everyday bag and then size down to this which i'll share about in a second but the mini size is going to be perfect this is the first trip i know i mentioned we're renting a stroller, so we won't have a stroller in the airport, which is gonna be wild for us, like totally different than any other travel experience that we have done with my daughter. So this will be the first trip where she is getting her very own backpack. It just hasn't made sense for her to have her own backpack if she's gonna be riding in a stroller. I'm just gonna end up carrying it the whole time. So she's gonna be walking in the airport and she will get her very own backpack. So what I have in her backpack, I'm keeping it, you know, minimal, light. I have her tablet. I have a couple of these little water art books, and I love this one. This is actually uh, one that I found on Amazon. It has stories from the Old Testament, and there's all kinds of different versions from the Old Testament, New Testament, all different stories, but these are some of her favorite Bible stories. So we have David and Goliath, Queen Esther, we have Daniel in the lion's den. I need to get her another one because she loves this so much. And Jonah and the whale. So you just fill up the little pen with water and you can reuse it a hundred times. And it's amazing. And then I also have a bluey version of this water art book. I have a bag of snacks. Honestly, uh, I should probably keep this in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure that Ellie doesn't just like tear through these. So her little snack bag that'll come with us on the plane. I have some Bluetooth headphones and her little digital camera. So this actually turns on. It has a little micro SD card right here and she can take her own pictures and videos, which is really, really cute. She loves wearing this around Disney, around the airport. I just make sure, hey, Ellie, people don't want their picture taken. Do not take pictures of strangers. <laughs> That has been a real conversation. So you can take pictures of mommy, you can take pictures of your backpack, of anything that's yours, but nobody needs their picture taken. If we don't know them, we're not taking their picture. <laughs> so that is everything that is in my daughter's bag. And I don't know if there's a couple of other little small things, I have some extra space in there and then i have some cup holders right here as well um, i do like these on the ace size backpack because these are insulated which is awesome so i'm going to keep that right there and then this is my personal item so we have both of our carry-ons and well i guess these are really all personal items but we'll just count this one as my carry-on my daughter's personal item and my personal item so this is what stays on me at all times. I can leave my backpack on the stroller, but anything valuable stays on me at all times. And I'm so sad. My little Mickey, it finally broke off. <laughs> the little keychain just totally broke. He had a good life, but he just, he didn't last. <laughs> so I've got some water wipes, my portable phone charger, which this is my ride or die. If you have seen my packing videos before, you have seen this charger. You have all the cables built in as well as the outlet. And then I also have my card holder. I like that this is so compact. I'm not carrying around a bulky wallet to the parks or the airport. This has anything important I need in here. Cash for tipping our private transportation, our annual passes, credit cards, ID, anything like that. I also have this mini pouch. So this just kind of helps me stay organized. Plus it's, you know, super cute. <laughs> but I've got a couple of lip glosses. I have my AirPods, a hand sanitizer spray, and a little Tylenol. 
So anything else that's little like hair ties or any other little makeup product that I want, I can just put it in this little mini pouch. And then this front pouch is actually insulated, which I have found that keeping my card holder little wallet, where did that go, in here, has actually been really helpful for getting through the airport or you know getting checked in at your resort when they're like hey we need to see your id or we need a credit card on file it's just nice being able to pull out all of that info right in this front pocket and then i love on the back here there's an extra pocket where i can slide my phone so i can wear this crossbody and my phone is really easily accessible and it fits perfectly i don't know where my phone is right now but that would go right here and it's the perfect fit. Those are the carry-on bags that we're using and I'm very eager to see how my daughter does with her very first backpack on an airplane. I also wanted to share shoes. So I'm bringing my daughter's white sandals, her white tennis shoes. I actually just took a magic eraser to this. I know they still look pretty dirty, but they look way better than they did a few minutes ago. So. If you got white tennis shoes, don't underestimate the power of a magic eraser. Obviously, I can't really get ugh, that part, but you know what? It is what it is. And these are my sandals. Ugh, I fell in love with these sandals on our last Disney trip, and I am so excited to wear these more. These are like walking on a cloud. They are so comfortable. It did take me a couple hours to break them in, but since then, they have been incredible. So maybe wear them around town before you wear them to Disney. I mean, just like any other shoe. But these are so amazing because you can wear them to the park and they look super cute. But they're basically just rubber and they're waterproof. So you can wear them to the pool, but if it rains, you're totally fine. Like, you don't have to worry about your tennis shoes getting soaked or, you know, having to dry off in your room. So... I really love these, these reef sandals. I think they were about, I wanna say 40 or $50. So they weren't cheap, but I know I'm gonna have these for a very long time. And they are multi-purpose shoes. I can wear them for anything and I can dress them up, dress them down, wear them to the pool, they're waterproof. They just check all the boxes. And then I'm gonna wear my generic tennis shoes, my New Balance tennis shoes on the plane and that'll save space while I'm packing. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm looking around, I'm like, did I cover everything? Did I talk about everything? I think we're good, and I need to hurry this up because I'm losing daylight. <laughs> it's also a very stormy day, which doesn't help with the sunlight here. So, I brought up my checked suitcase. Ooh, I need to take off my baggage, luggage tag from our last trip, and I think we're ready. So, I have a hodgepodge of packing cubes. And I am gonna pack everything for my daughter in specific packing cubes just for her. I need to grab her princess dresses out of her room. That is one thing I still need to grab, her fancy dresses that are hanging in her closet. I will pack those last minute and underneath my packing cubes here, I actually have a couple of garment bags. These are kid sized garment bags that I'm gonna put her princess dresses that are covered in glitter <laughs> in these bags. And they also have some zipper compartments. So for instance, for her Jasmine dress, I ordered this little Jasmine uh, headband crown. So I can go ahead, whoa, I just threw that on the ground. <laughs> I can go ahead and put that headband in one of these little zipper compartments to keep all of the accessories together for her dress. And then I can just fold it up and glitter doesn't totally get everywhere, <laughs> all over our stuff. And then I can pull them out on our arrival day, hang them in the closet, and we are set for our week. And I have all of her outfits kind of lined up, ready to go, and I know which day is what. And I could even label these uh, garment bags if I wanted. They have little labels here, so I could cut up little pieces of paper to put in here and say, you know, Monday Jasmine dress or Monday Epcot or, you know, whatever, um, just to keep things really organized. I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything else up, get everything organized into packing cubes. I usually try to do one packing cube for my daughter and one packing cube for myself and then everything else is already in pouches. Sometimes if I can't fit everything, I'll do two for my daughter, two for myself. So we'll see how this ends up going. <laughs>
And before I zip up this dress, I had to show at least a little bit of it. This is from Bitty Bundles of Joy. It is absolutely beautiful. The detail on this dress is just completely stunning and it deserves a garment bag. <laughs> so that is coming with us. I have her little Jasmine headband right here. I also have this Aurora dress, which is also from Bitty Bundles of Joy. Just absolutely beautiful. Again, you can see it's like covered in <laughs> glitter and same thing on this one, this piece right here. I mean, so beautiful, but it's covered in glitter. So definitely worthy of the garment bags and I can fold them up and I have just enough space to put them right there. Okay, that worked perfect. I went ahead and removed the hangers because that just felt silly. <laughs> but these fit perfect right there. And I also wanted to add, circling back to the swim bag, one thing I'm doing is make sure on your suitcase, if there is a side that has this part that zips over one side and then the other side is open, leave your swim bag on the open side because it makes pulling out that swim bag that much easier when you pop open your suitcase for 0.2 seconds to pull it out. It's just one less step to not have the swim bag on this side of the suitcase. Okay, we are officially all packed up. That is everything. I hope this was helpful and I hope you learned a new Disney packing tip or two. If you did, let me know down below in the comments and I would love to chat with you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed if you want to catch all of the vlogs coming from this trip. I am so excited. Thank you for following along. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.